Look at this. This was the storm surge forecast. 12 to 18 feet either side of Fort Myers. I mean, that's crazy. What would that look like? Follow me. I have an idea. Let's go to the newsroom. I got something to show you. So look at that graph again, the magenta color, a 12 to 18 foot storm surge. I mean, that's crazy. Let's put that in perspective. So I'm on the second floor above the first floor of the newsroom. So the blue bulkhead here, the top of that is about 13 feet. Up to my hand is about 22 feet. So you can imagine a storm surge up to about here, the railing. The waves would be lapping into the second story. That is crazy. Now, what would those numbers look like here in the DMV under a slightly different scenario? Here's John Henry. According to the National Hurricane Center, if some of the conservative estimates of Ian's storm surge in Florida were to happen here, some many recognizable parts of the DMV would be underwater. As the WSA 9 weather team has pointed out in the past, tidal flooding can make a big impact in our region. But when you mix in strong winds from a nearby hurricane pushing water up the Potomac or Anacostia, local flooding can get even worse. The National Hurricane Center says three feet of such flooding could impact operations at DCA. Nine feet could inundate Navy Yard or even parts of the National Mall. Thirteen feet of water could even once again cover the Georgetown waterfront. In 2003, Hurricane Isabel pushed an eight-foot surge of water up the Chesapeake flooding Annapolis. University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science President Emeritus Don Bosch said with climate change, a similar scenario now would be even worse. With the fact that we've had sea level rise and plus the bay is therefore become deeper and so forth, it can, it can allow the storm surge to propagate more. You, you could estimate that we would have the same conditions prevail. We would have maybe one or two foot feet higher storm surge than we did then. But Aaron Caps of Atkins North America, a global design and engineering firm, says more communities are taking notice. We have a lot of people across our local, state and federal levels that are focusing on this, focusing on mitigation, trying to not only build back better, um, but to make us more resilient. John Henry, WUSA 9.